Good evening, morning, and or afternoon, Blood Bowl fans. I am here with uh, Metal and uh, Sleepy Sleepy Time Kezaroos, and we are here to do the Big O and the Newbie Roundup. Um, this one we're going to have to make it quick. Hello! So, gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Completely kill his flow. Yeah, we're just going to go, whoop! No, it's our turn. It's our turn. Um, look at the schedule, dude. Look at all those touchdowns. Look at those wonderful, wonderful touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Wow, those are some big games. They are. Sorry, right, scorers living up to the name there. Let's go check in on those guys. They went. They won four one. There's a lot of SPP on that team. Are they scoring with the Sorai though? That would Probably be... not if they're getting four. No. Yeah, no. Hey, sure. Uh, it's a lie. Skinks do it all. Good team motto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least they're honest. Hey, look, look, look at that. This is the team that started with the Mighty Blow. I love this idea. They got three Mighty Blow Saurus before they got any block. And it's working because, you know, they've got the first yeah, level three Saurus. Also, they've got a blo uh, the blocks of goal. Yes. Go yes. blocks of goal. Well done, man. That's the way forward. The only thing they don't have is, is anything good on the skinks, really. Yeah. And I say nothing good. I mean, you know, they've got sidesteps and they've got diving tackles and it's that's kind of nice. But yeah. It's not... You know, it's not stats and doubles. No, it's not the doubles. Um, Kedger is just sat there looking at him going, I wouldn't hire any of those players. <laughs> you just start sending some of those to the uh, glue factory. You don't want your skinks getting too fat compared to your uh, Sorai. Yeah, that's, and, you that's know, true. Time to cycle. Obviously, you know, as well, you, you, would, you wouldn't buy any of those, would you? You wouldn't, you wouldn't hire any of those. No, no, they've not got like eight level ups, so uh, they're not of any interest to my team. Oh, there is a player that you know you you could you could keep your eye on. It's a speedsters though. They've got themselves a movement skink, which is nice. Oh, no blocks are going yet though, and they went the other route. They've got block on on their saw eyes. Um, but yeah, slower to develop, but a bit more reliable. Um, yeah, just a very scary front line, I think. Four yeah. rerolls as well, which makes them really kind of a tough proposition. Yeah. Bad, bad Phoenix is definitely a team to take a take a look at. They've been they've been killing it this season, and uh, it's probably because of uh, all the blodge, all that oh, this blodge. This is the uh, high house. Yep, yep, have yep. you seen the Have you seen the player names? There's one guy that I just there's this one throw that feels a little bit out of place. Yeah, I just did. Everything else is like office materials, and then there's a dude with a real name. <laughs> it's like, uh. yeah, that's. Did he forget to name him? Uh, it, looks <laughs> like it, it looks like we had one slip through the cracks, guys. Yeah. N Nuffle will take care of that. That will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Nuffle tends... Actually, no. Nuffle won't take care of that. Have you never had this experience? The one oh. player that you, that you named incorrectly will never die and never get any skill-ups. He'll just sit there... Die around them. He'll sit there at, like, 5 SPP, taunting you for the rest of the team's career. Well, ouch. That's my prediction, boys. Ouch. But he's gone. He's gone full early uh, catches. I mean, he's top of the leaderboard, so doesn't need to listen to me. He knows what he's doing. But um, that's a lot of armor seven. It's a lot of touchdowns, though. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of wins right now. It's true. It's true. Um, I'm. I'm really hoping uh, Walkerthon can make a kickback here. He's. He's kind of trailing behind a little bit. The Astrox. They, they've yeah. got a lot of TV behind them, though, so they, they go in the right direction. He's at he's at two one one at the moment. I'm sure he'll. Uh... Oh, Walker! Do we have to argue about your thrower again? He, he's, me and Walker had a falling out because of the movement six throw that everyone said was crap, and he is defending it viciously. But now he's giving him block rather than leader. Walker, nice. walk. Come that on. That is exactly how I would build my. Uh my uh, thrower and I told him this because he, him and I were chatting and he said he was getting stick. It can keep up with the blitzes. Okay, and... the movement maybe, but he needs a leader. You give leaders, the throwers get a leader. It's just how it works. And they, um, they're there to carry the ball. They're not, they shouldn't be called throwers, they should be called carriers. <laughs> Runners. Except they don't run very far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels like he's the most expensive piece on the on the pitch for this team, other than Hubble. Mm -hmm. And if you look at Hubble compared to Armstrong, Hubble's so much better. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Well, Hubble's, Hubble's clearing a path for uh, Armstrong to come through. 
I'm curious. I know he's got the troll. I'm wondering if he's gonna pop a goblin. Mm. Some goblin artillery or goblin snacks, depending on how the uh, how the troll, troll is feels. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very curious about it. I mean, normally when you grab the troll, I mean the extra strength is nice, especially because he can become a roadblock. But normally when you get one of those bad boys, the idea is to uh, those one turns. Yeah, that's that tends to be the, the tactic. So. Um, let's have a look at some of the other teams. Where are we? What was I going to look at? I was gonna, the Cold Coast Cutthroats have a lot of TV. They do. And a lot of injuries. Oh. They do. AV Busted Ulf. Uh, move Busted Lima, which is that's isn't fine. such a that's problem. Not a big deal. Niggle Glyman, more of a problem. Ooh, that's a yeah. problem. But they've got Mighty Blow on both Berserkers. Yeah. Mighty Blow on the Yeti. Uh, guard on a Lyman. Guard block on an Ulf. That's a nice. To be fair, other than the injuries, it's a really nice looking Norse team. Yeah. But I think that uh, niggled lineman needs to. Uh, Fat Steve needs to uh, be replaced by Fatter Steve. Or I kind of feel like because of the armor seven ulf, he's probably saving up for an ulf and hoping that uh, nature takes its course with Steve. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. Because obviously, you know, you could replace Steve, but when you've got an ulf, that's a v seven. You need to replace priority. him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. It just sucks the longer he keeps them around. The higher chance he's going to get SPP on him. Yeah. So. Yeah, but he's a lineman, so mostly it's either only going to be an MVP, which it will suck, or it's going to be a casualty, which won't matter too, too much because at least he's got a casualty, right? Yeah, 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 that's true. Alright, let's carry on. How are the Joust about doing? Because it's another Bronian team, dude. Oh no, they've got another busted, move busted line. This isn't oh. the collecting move busted peasants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that they're building their line. Peasant shuffling. <laughs> they need one more. They not. get one more, and they have their uh their line of scrimmage. <laughs> their line of scrimmage. Three yeah. move busted peasants. The shuffle line. Yeah, they're like, here you go. You can have these guys to hit. <laughs> Fucking, I love the turning. Like, Tolbert's beard is such a mess. Like, what was he thinking? <laughs> Are you really judging them on facial hair right now? Where, where's yeah. Tolbert? The first player. To be fair, if you look at, if you even look at the peasants, they're, they're actually so ugly. It's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's the peasants are just ridiculous. Uh, facial design. It's so bad. I mean, look at Bilbo. He's so bad. Bilbo Baggins. He might be related to his own cousin in in, in kind of brotherly kind of ways. Yeah. <laughs> wah, um. Wah, wah. It, 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 he's having that feeling when you are your own uncle. <laughs> okay. Capital Rats? What What did someone do to this team? Uh oh. -uh. What did they do? They I'm played Vermintide. Cool. And won. Yeah, maybe. Actually, no, They. to be fair, they did trade off uh, a 3 1 win. For the uh, against the white mask Raiders. I think that was week four, but oh. nonetheless, you know they they casualties. They they bought the victory in Skaven blood, but uh, they've still got a move busted goat runner, which is sad. The yeah. Storm Vermin's not permanently out, which is really good for him because if it's permanently out, this uh, gutter runner is obviously following in the great footsteps of yours, uh, Full Metal. Unfortunately, he decided to pick taking movement bust first rather than any sort of strength up. rather than last. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ratatouille didn't get sacked when he went to movement. Hey, I won't get sacked. It's like, yeah, but Ratatouille's got strength 3 and 95. Yeah. He's like, he's like, oh. <laughs> I think P. Credlin may need to uh, retire to the uh, mushroom mines and get fucking high. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds like an idea. But I think, you know, it's money and he hasn't got any. <laughs> That's very true. Early developed teams, it's kind of rough. Um, yeah, taking, taking cards that he's on your gun as early as... as Skaven is, is, is hard. It's very hard. Um, speaking of a team that took a casualty early, let's go take a quick look over at the New World Order. Because they were the guys with the strength for Ogre. Oh, oh no. Uh, and, uh, they did replace him, but they now did. they've got a movement 7 catcher. And that's, that's harsh. This is just a team that get beaten up a lot. But then again, they're an old end after wrestlers, so technically they used to be in up, I suppose. I was going to say, that's going to happen too with Yumi's. I mean, armor value 8, 
isn't that wonderful. So yeah, to be fair, know. the the armor increase on the catch is quite nice though. Oh yeah, that that's a big move. I would have preferred strength three and kept the armor value seven, but that's just me. Yeah, strength two humans feels a bit weird. Yeah, that's kind of the thing that's always kind of throwing me off about them. I'm like, it's still a human, like. Yeah, it's not. It's not like he's built like an elf. Like, yeah. Woody's makes a bit more sense because if you actually people. look at the guy, he's actually got. Have you seen the size of the guy's biceps? They're actually quite large. Yeah, I I don't understand it. Like on like like you were saying, yeah, with the Woodies it makes sense because they're a little smaller, and with the gutter runners it makes sense because they're more rat than rat man. Yeah, than man. Yeah. Uh, more rat than more rat than man. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't more I, rat. That's I, man. I don't That's understand true. that. I think that might be the next buff coming, but I doubt it. I think I think humies are so underplayed and under uh, underlooked at that they won't do that. I don't think so, no, because they got such a verbal kicking from their previous tweaks. The, uh, well, the thing I, is, their previous tweaks were changes to the tabletop. He now just matches the tabletop, doesn't he? Uh, the armor up is still different, so I think they should have uh, armor 7. Oh, okay. Fair news. I haven't played humans on the tabletop, like, ever. They didn't interest me in the slightest, so... Um, they're too ordinary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you aware we're in the pre presence of, of uh, royalty, though, Keji? We've got Gabe Newell, the coach, for the Valhalla and Vali Valiants. <laughs> right. But apparently owning Steam doesn't necessarily make you win games. No. No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> the Sorry scorers have beaten him in the most recent match. Although they did go 3-0 over New World Order. But then they've also lost in the past to Bad Phoenix, so, you know, oops. But those are those are also some of the bigger, big, heavy-hitting teams. I mean, Bad Phoenix... Is a big heavy hitting team. That's one oh of the ones no, I, I know. But if if you're Gabe Newell, you should be able to just yeah, like, you know, can't okay. you just roll nothing but sixes? Mm, they don't own this game now, <laughs> but they own Steam. That's very true. Hello, he's got a nicely oh. organized uh, team. He's That's... got uh, his uh, all of his uh, Norse mythology characters, and then gorgeous George the Yeti, and of course the man bear pig, Wolf Warrior, because he's super serial. Yeah. Super serial guys. <laughs> alright, alright. Have we got any more else to look at or have we done everyone? We definitely haven't done everyone, but we have to keep moving. Let's jump over to uh I almost looked at the Hall of Fame. Let's jump over to the leaderboard <coughs> one more time. Take a quick look at it. I mean still early in the season, but uh I think we got one guy, the bad Phoenix are definitely breaking away with it. Yeah, he's he's got his eye on the prize of the Super Bowl. Um, well, that first place spot is crucial, especially for them, because it's a free bye week, so it guarantees him at least to the second week of playoffs. Yeah, he um, might want to uh, get his TV a bit higher up there as high elves if he's going to come into the Super Bowl and survive. I was going to say that, though. Is it, like, you say the first place is crucial, so they get into the second round? Mm -hmm. But wouldn't you be tempted to say it would actually be more beneficial for them to play another round to get more SPP? Um, well, here's why I disagree with that. So, the way that playoffs are going to work this season, since there's three of us, every team is going to be playing out against someone that they normally wouldn't play against, so there's no repeat. So, Ariel will most likely either be matched up with G-Man or um, Big O. Well, it'll be. It'll likely be, given the numbers, um, if we're doing proportional representation. It'll probably be G-Man versus everybody else in the first round. Maybe. Well, I think the way I have it, I have it written down somewhere. But I know it's uh, three. the top three from each of the divisions are going from Div 1. And then I think we're sending one from the top of every other as a wild card. So Big O sends so three. Uh, G-Man sends three, four, five, six. And then the Ariel sends three, four, five. Ah, uh, yeah, that was kind of how I understood it. But it's worthy of note, so far the leaders in the Big O are two lizard teams. And the Big and O? Bad no. Phoenix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two lizard teams and uh, Bad Phoenix. Well, the lizard teams will definitely struggle if they can't get uh, the skills. Because um, yeah. they're going to get hit, hit in the face against every other team that has tackle and dodge and, yeah. Guard, Guard. and strength ups and. That'll be brutal. But let's jump over to um, our Newbielicious League. Newbielicious. Sadly, I missed a game in this league as well, which was upsetting to me. You know, you're just failing these poor noobs. They needed you, and you said, I don't care. 
I didn't say I don't care. I kind of said, oops. You said I don't care. Hey, man, I had real life issues to deal with. Well, uh, the team that I'm supposed to be mentoring, the uh, the Reichland Kings, took a W, and we've been we've been able to talk every now and then against the, their team build, and they're uh, they're doing a Humi team. Um, we got a they're doing a deeper bench, and uh, I'm okay with it. I like You're it. You're okay with it, yeah. Well, I'm hoping I'm hoping he's going to use the deeper bench for some fouling. Um, because having the deeper bench isn't going to hurt him too much. The guy's playing next week. We did the math. I think it's just going to give him a babe. So I understand. Um, I um, I'm checking my team and the guys I'm mentoring. I don't know how much they actually need me. He's he's winning the league right now. Oh wow! Who is uh, Raw Dogs Refrigerator Raiders? He's yeah. three and one right now. That's and the, the week Raiders, nice. The week week I missed was actually the week he drew. Which sorry, dude, <laughs> but um. He's got a nice looking team. He rolled doubles on a troll slayer and got sidesteps for the the count. You know the, the complete lack of surfage. Nice, which is kind of interesting. Uh, he's got guard coming through. He's got mighty blow. You know he's he's looking like a decent team. Steel Rain is uh, my guy with the uh, cookie munchers, and I think I need to. Uh, well, I'm going to be playing a game with him tomorrow, uh, running him through some stuff. Uh, his lizards are skillless. He's got two sidestep skinks, but other than that, they're still. He's also. Player. Got a Nigglesaurus. Yeah. Niggly, niggly, niggly. That will get punched in the face. Potato plays for days. Oh, he used to level up, dude. He does. I, that's why I looked at his team and then I saw that he's got 10 no, players. No! I don't want to look anymore. You can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> um. but, but Dwarfs winning a, a, a newbie league doesn't surprise me. I like the uh, the... Humans are right up there, and the. Uh, I think. Eagles well, who does he play bears. next? This next week, we got a. Uh, Reichlin is playing Dark Poison. And who's your team playing against? You're playing. Uh, he's playing the Cookie Monsters. Well, this could be a big chance for the Cookie Monsters to do a big upset against the, uh, the Raiders. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Although, um, I've still got my game play for this week. I play the White Man Ravagers. Yep. Who are High Elves. And they have Strength 4 Throw. And a AG5 Lyman and two guards already. That's uh, that's really good. That's really good. Um, You're speaking of stats as well, I've just checked on Dream Memes, who was the guy that I should have played last week, um, who got the double MVP. Mm -hmm. uh, and he picked up Strength on a Zombie from the double MVP. I nice. don't know how I feel about that. Mega zombie. It's kind of the same way I feel about that line yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's a waste of stats. Yeah, I feel like you'd want the stat up somewhere else. I mean, you don't get much uh, much option, but uh. Ah, uh, he's got he's got himself a mighty blow werewolf. He's got himself a block werewolf. He's That's looking. Good. He's a yeah. really. Excelius has a really good team here. Yeah. Other than that zombie. Yeah, but like we said, you can't say no to Nuffle, otherwise Nuffle, uh... Shot no, no, as I said, you take the start, then you sack it. <laughs> <laughs> that way, you don't upset Nuffle. <laughs> Let's take a look at Slaz, uh, Slaz's team. It's been a while. I haven't seen Slaz as much on the boards. But I know he's Because he's been, been, been getting it. murdered. I it's know. been horrible. It's been so... He's had such a bad start to the season. Oh, he's finally man. got, you know, he's got Black Ark coming through with Block, and that's it. He's got nothing. This team has, it's 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 the shreds of an Orc team right now. And it sounds like I'm being horrible, and it, and I don't want to sound like I'm being horrible, but this is a team that's just had its teeth kicked in. Well, at least he's won one, and that's nice. <laughs> okay, rearrange them a little bit, dude. So they uh, they. Please, Nuffle's eye, not having Black Orc, Blitzer, Black Orc, Black Orc, Blitzer, Blitzer, Blitzer. That's top advice, dude. That's exactly what it is right there. Is If you fixed it, if you fixed this, you know, you'd get your startups. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to pretty much do it. I think that pretty much wraps it up. We got a, a, lot, of, a lot of stuff coming up. I mean, it's still really early in the season, so everyone's going to still be able to jockey for position. Yeah, I mean, especially in the the newbie newbie league, obviously because so many coaches are kind of new, you know, there's so much room for misplays and oh yeah, and mistakes on skill ups and 
things like that. And, you know, I imagine, and I'm just saying this as imagine, I mean, obviously, you know, most of the teams will... Uh, Road Dog, buy as much as you want because you're dwarves and it doesn't hurt you too much having crap loads of uh, TV. Mm. But most coaches will be, you know, won't be TV managing, I would imagine. I don't know. Too much because they're new players. Me and uh, me and the Reichlin Kings have actually talked about TV manage, and I told them bench wise we're about as deep as we want to get, and we're probably gonna see if we can maybe throw. Oh, we were talking about leader, so we we're talking about maybe getting rid of one of those uh, linemen, throwing in an extra thrower for a leader. <coughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, new to the leading uh, teams at the moment, so your uh, coaching is clearly doing something. Now I'm pretty sure I the Reichlins is said much better. Nothing. Better off without me. <laughs> I, I, all I've said to Rodog is keep it up, man. You're doing really good. <laughs> We've had some discussions about what to take because of what's coming up. He's very, um, he's my 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 coach is very big into looking at each next match and getting ready for that match, and I've been trying to help him with the broader sense of things. Okay. You um, for Mel, you've seen that his uh, troll slayer has sidestep, which is absolutely perfect. Once you surf someone off the side, you can just stand there and go nope. Off to the side, and then and then surf somebody else. Give <laughs> yeah. the troll slayer when they try and surf you and go. No, I've got side step. I loved it. I thought I saw that and was like, yeah, I was really pleased for him that he took that over maybe dodge. Yeah, yeah, that dodge is yeah, tempting it's, too. It's much better than dodge. Oh, definitely. That's so tempting to take dodge, especially early game when not there's not a lot of tackle. Yeah, I I think you know dodge is nice because it keeps you on your feet. Mm -hmm. But I think, considering he's got Mighty Blow already on one of them, the uh, the pick up a sidestep on the other one means that he can have one troll slayer that's dedicated to try and oh, no. crowd surf, while I he's know. got the other one that's dedicated to murder him. Like I said, I 100% agree with this decision. It's just so tempting not to take dodge, especially, like I said, early, early, early leagues, no tackle, you're just like, ha 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 ha, you have to get a pow. Yeah. But that'll do it, um, guys. Um, thank you guys for coming and joining me. Sorry that this seemed kind of rush. Um, it's because it kind of was. I apologize. <laughs> that's, that, no, that's, that's totally my bad. If we hadn't left it till Saturday, maybe we would have been a bit, uh, a bit more, you know, spending a bit more time on it. But real life had just been beating the crap out of me this week, so. For reals. We're going to hopefully bring you guys more content. Hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow on Planet Side. Um, I'll Ooh, be there. Yeah. Metal will be there. Will you be there? I might be there, yeah. Oh, nice. Awesome. I would love it. We're going to be running a platoon and shooting things and flying things and driving things. Yeah. And, and been teaching. I've played, but I should still have all my stuff, so. Yeah. Teaching me how to play Planet Side on a fresh account. Yeah. Because I've never, I've never played it before. It'll be a good time. We'll be on uh, Emerald and we'll be playing in our purple spandex. So. Yeah. Come Vanu. Oh. We got some Vanuians here. All for that oh. technology. All about that, that science. Um, Alright guys, well, we will, uh, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys! Bye! bye, -bye. Stay classy and, and all those good things. Yeah.